Let's just uh, talk uh, for a moment about this transformation of Israel because you talk about Israel in the 1940s and the 1950s. That's the kibbutz and that's right. the ideals and uh, that's the fulfillment of the biblical promise, the right, land right. of milk and honey. And, and then uh, you find uh, Israel today armed to the teeth, independent of the United States, paying more or less their fair share of, uh, of uh, their defense and security. Uh, developed a nuclear bomb and uh, uh, strutting and fretting their hour upon the right, stage. Right. Uh, Netanyahu is back. And uh, now there's a whole strain of American political thought that finds this quite appealing. They like the Iron Fist. Right. Mean, you talked about Hiroshima. Jackson, right. Colin Powell, a, a devastating force, uh, is uh, the only way to wage war. And uh, Right, no, very much. Uh, so it's, it's, things have changed greatly, but, haven't they? Yeah, but again, we start with this moment, 1948, Israel appears, and it's like, okay, we have Hiroshima, we have, you know, the Holocaust, and now here's Israel. It's a sign, you know, just like the preacher told me when I was a kid, that someday the Jews would return. It was a sign to a lot of people, this is the soft Christian Zionism, that that somehow the big guy upstairs is still in charge. That in this chaotic history, communism, Nazism, nuclear weapons, there's still something, there, there is a there there, there's a guide, there's a force.